x is equal to root of 6 plus root of 2 over root of 8. We are going to find x raised to the power of 9. Now, from here, let's rationalize this denominator. We have that x is equal to root of 6 plus root of 2 over root of 8. Let's multiply by root of 8 over root of 8. This becomes equal to root of 6 times root of 8 is root of 48 plus this times root of 8 is root of 16 all over 8. Okay, and this becomes equal to root of 48 is the same thing as 4 root 3 plus 4, which is root of 16, all over 8. This becomes equal to 3 plus root of 3 plus 1 all over 2. Okay, now that's what x is. Now moving on, this question says that we should find x to the power of 9. Okay, but x to the power of 9 can be expressed as x to the power of 3 or is to the power of 3. Okay, so if you can get x to the power of 3 and with what you get to the power of 3, you can get x to the power of 9. Okay, so we have root of 3 plus 1 all over 2 to be equal to x. Now let's see x raised to the power of 3 will now be equal to root of 3 plus 1 all over 2 all squared times root of 3 plus 1 all over 2. Okay. So we can get this one get x to the power of 3. Now x to the power of 3 now becomes equal to root of 3 plus 1 all squared all over 4 times root of 3 plus 1 all over 2. This becomes equal to the denominator is 8. Root of 3 squared is 3 plus 1 squared is 1 plus root of 3 times 1 is root of 3 times 2 is 2 root 3. Okay, all multiplied by root of 3 plus 1. This becomes equal to root of, sorry, 3 plus 1 is 4 plus 2 root 3 multiplied by root of 3 plus 1 divided by 8. Now this becomes equal to 4 times root 3 is 4 root 3 plus 4 times 1 is 4 plus 2 root 3 times root 3 is 6 plus 2 root 3 times 1 is 2 root 3 all over 8. And this becomes equal to 4 root 3 plus 2 root 3 is 6 root 3 plus 10 all over 8. And this boils down to 3 root 3 plus 5 all over 4. Okay? So that's what x raised to power 3 is equal to. So this is equal to x raised to power 3 is equal to 3 root 3 plus 5 all over 4. Okay? Now let's find x raised to power 9. Now recall that our x raised to power 9 is equal to x raised to the power of 3 or raised to the power of 3. So it means that if you multiply x raised to the power of 3 times x raised to the power of 3 times x raised to the power of 3. Multiply x raised to the power of 3 3 times, we get x raised to the power of 9. So let's do that now. So let's solve now for x raised to the power of 9. As I said earlier, x raised to the power of 9 is equal to x raised to the power of 3 3 times. Okay? And these are x raised to the power of 3. So let's do that now. So we have 3 root 3 plus 5 all over 4 times 3 root 3 plus 5 all over 4. Okay? Times 3 root 3 plus 5 all over 4 is equal to x to the power of 9. This now becomes equal to, let's multiply these two out first. So we have 16 as a denominator. and the numerator, we have 3 root 3 plus 5 all squared. Then multiplied by 3 root 3 plus 5 all over 4. Okay, so like this. Then this becomes equal to 
3 root 3 is something as root of 27 plus 5 all squared all over 16 times root of 27 plus 5 all over 4. Okay, this makes our work easier. From here, we have this to be equal to root of 27 squared is 27 plus 5 squared is 25 plus 27 times 5 is 5 root 27 times 2 is 10 root 27. Okay, all multiplied by root of 27 plus 5 all over 16 times 4. This becomes equal to 27 plus 25 is 52 plus 10 root 27 multiplied by 5 plus root 27 all over 16 times 4. This now becomes equal to 52 times 5 is 260 plus 52 times root 27 is 52 root 27 plus 10 root 27 times 5 is 50 root 27 plus 10 root 27 times root 27 is 270. Okay, all over 16 times 4. From here, we now have the x to the power 9 is equal to 260 plus 270 plus 52 root 27 plus 50 root 27 all over 16 times 4. Hence, x raised to the power 9 becomes equal to 530 plus now have here as 102 root 27 all over 16 times 4. This now becomes equal to 530 plus one, so root of 27 is 3 root 3, so we have 3 into 102 root 3 all over 16 times 4. This now becomes equal to 530 plus 3 into this is 306 root 3 all over 16 times 4. Now we now have from here that this becomes equal to 2 into 265 plus 150. 3 root 3 all over 16 times 4. And this becomes equal to 265 plus 153 root 3 all over 32. That is x to the power of 9. Okay? Thanks for watching, guys.